Hello guys, and welcome back to my Minecraft world. It has been a while since I've been on this world, but I am wanting to continue it. And in today's episode, we are going to be making a sugarcane farm, as you can tell from the title. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is to clear out this area ready for it. Um, it's going to be quite wide I'm going to need to clear out. So we're going to have an empty gap to be able to access behind it. The redstone, the pistons, the sugar cane, the water, a glass block, and then a three wide hallway. So we're going to have to clear out pretty much everything up to here. And it's going to need to go about 17 blocks back. Yeah, 17 blocks back. So we're going to have to clear out quite a bit of area. Probably going to go through this pickaxe as well as probably another one or two. And yeah, we're going to do that first. So yeah, that's pretty much how deep it's going to go. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to run out of this pickaxe very, very quick. our pickaxe we cleared about half of it so i should only need about another one pickaxe to completely finish it off uh i should have some yes iron already smelted um i'm trying to remember where everything is now it's been a while since i have played on this world um wood this is the one i do have some sticks on me already but i'm gonna need to make another two Pickaxes, one to finish that off and then one just to have afterwards. That should do nicely. And we'll continue mining. Okay, that is the area completely cleared out. Go ahead and light it up, make sure no mobs are going to spawn here. And I can hear a zombie from this direction somewhere. So there's another cave around here that I would like to find at some point. Um, but for now, we're going to continue on this. Um, so resources I'm going to need. I'm going to need pistons. We're going to need 16 pistons. No, 18, no, 17 pistons. Um, we're going to need redstone. Let's grab all of that. We're going to need cobble and wood. And I think that's everything to make the pistons. So yeah, I should need 17 pistons, I think. There we go, 17 pistons. I'm also going to need some glass as well, which I don't think I have any sand, so I'm going to need to go on an adventure to get some sand real quick. Go and do that now. Put all of our resources away. There we go. And we'll, we'll head out and get some sand real quick. We'll probably get it from the river near the village, which is just out the front of our base. It is getting night time as well. I don't have a bed on me. I do 
Do I have a spare bed? I do not. Do I have enough wool to make another bed? I do not. I should do if I make some wool from the string, though. And this can just stay on me and be a sleeping bag for if I'm out adventuring and I need to sleep. But we will sleep in this bed. I can't sleep in it. It must have just been getting daytime then. So that was actually perfect timing to go out. Okay, we'll head this way and try and find the river and get some sand. Okay, here's the river. Could really do with making a safe way down here at some point. Doesn't seem to be a lot of sand. Most of the floor looks like it's dirt. But we can grab some of the sand that is on the edges. I should need 51 cents total, but we'll grab a stack. Let's hope I don't drown again. There's a drowned there. The Nautilus shell. Is he going to drop it? He did. Nice. Some sugar cane there as well. Grab that because we're going to need more for the farm. There we go, there's a stack of sand. That'll do us for now. We'll uh, head back up the side of this cliff, get back to the base. And whilst we're up here, we'll go ahead and breed the cows real quick. Make sure we've got plenty of these guys for the future. Because I'm going to need a lot of leather. Is that all of you? There you go. That's all of them. Got the XP. On all of it. I think so. And we might as well also harvest the wheat. Just for here. Eventually, I will move these farms to the lower base area. But until I can clear out the areas quicker, they're going to be staying up here. Just gonna store the seeds for now. It's fine. Okay. Back down. Okay, so we're gonna smelt up this sand. I'm just gonna smelt the whole stack, I think. Uh there's no fuel in there currently. Gonna place that in there. And we'll just smelt up the whole stack and get some nice glass from it. Okay, so for the design itself, I'm going to use some 
deep slate cobble. Get two stacks of that. I'm going to turn this into the bricks. And this is going to be used as a floor below the glass. Pickaxe finally broke. I'm going to clear out a strip of it here and a strip above. need that block there, that could just be cobblestone. There we go, and basically glass will go here and that way we can view inside of the sugarcane farm. Next thing I'm going to want to do is to build a trench for the water. And we're going to make the water bit look nice, so we are going to just place actual blocks there, not just have them left as deep slate cobble. Nicely done. And I believe along this wall we're going to need the dirt. place just normal blocks here however this will be replaced with glowstone at a later date to provide light in this room but until we can get the glowstone from the nether it's just going to stay as these blocks have blocks above here like this. And then the pistons which go here. Now I do need to find the center which I think is this one. And I need to place a water source here. Like so. And I'm actually going to need more water, which I can get from just outside the entrance. It's night time, so I'm hoping there's no mobs here. Some zombies come in, we'll run back down quick. And I'll actually create another infinite source down here with this water. Temporary one. We'll just place it here for now. Actually, I'll place it here. Grab that one. There we go. So we'll place a water source here. Water source here. And a water source here. And that should all flow to there. The reason why I have this one here is because there is no water here, so the sugarcane... I wouldn't be able to place sugarcane here otherwise. Whereas, if I place that there, I can then place the sugarcane there. And here is going to be a hopper. Which is going to feed into a chest. Which we are, for now, just going to be able to access here. Go ahead and make this look a bit nicer for now. Uh, I'm going to need a stair. Uh, we're going to need a hopper as well. Make a hopper real quick. Also going to need a double chest, so that's perfect. So we're going to place a stair here, that way 
I can place a double chest down here. And I can still open it. Whereas if it was a solid block, I wouldn't be able to open that chest. And the hopper we're going to have feed into that chest. So that way the sugarcane will get pushed off and flow down into the hopper and then go into the chest. Next thing to do is going to be to actually place the sugarcane. Which we don't have enough to fill the whole thing for now. So we can do about half of it. Almost half. We'll let that grow for now. Next is going to be to do all the redstone behind it. So we're going to place blocks along here. Which I've run out of. Get some more. Going to fill this in. And I want to place a door here at some point. Uh, for now it can just get blocked off after I've been in here. But I would like to be able to access this in case I need to make modifications in the future, which I definitely will be doing. I'm going to need to place redstone along all of this. And I'm possibly going to need a repeater somewhere here. Um... I'm pretty sure I'm going to need one. I need some stone. Going to need another piece of coal in here. Just go ahead and smelt that up real quick. I'm going to need a button. Just make a wood one. Do want to test if I push that button? Oh. Okay, so yeah, all but the last, I think, two or three end up going off. So I'm definitely gonna need a repeater along here to increase the the redstone strength. Should be alright. Um, need some sticks. And how am I going to do this? So I won't just be able to place a redstone repeater there because then the piston that that redstone repeater is next to will not activate like that. Okay, I think that works. That's a, a way I can get around it. So what I've done is I've put the button here and then that sends a redstone signal which goes into the back of this repeater which goes into the block which activates the redstone on here and then that should activate all of it pretty much and that's how i've gone around that but now they, they they should all activate when i push this button and what i'll probably do is i'll make it so hmm, i don't know how to do this could instead because that, that button's a bit out of the way Realistically, I could have done with uh, making this wall a little bit thicker. That way I could have put some redstone along here, maybe. Which I could still do that, actually. Actually, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I have just finished moving all of this over. It's all been moved over by two more blocks. That way I've got a thicker wall here. And I've been able to place some redstone between the two walls. So when I push the button... 
it will activate and I'll show you the redstone behind it. The button is on the other side of this wall. Activate it, which activates this redstone still, which goes into the back of the repeater and activates all of the pistons. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the redstone done. I need, need to wait for this sugar cane to grow so I can harvest it, so I can finish off placing the rest of it here. The one thing I do still need to do is actually grab the water source from there. And place it here. That way I'm going to be able to place the show in there. There's the first piece done. So, see if this works. It might get pushed off and land on this block, which is why I need to have the glass along here. But if I push this... Yeah, it, it, it landed here. But in theory, it will land in the water. Go down. Oh, I haven't actually placed the hoppers down yet. Try this again. Oh, there's another piece that's grown, so we'll, we'll go ahead and harvest that. Lands in the water, goes down the water, goes into the hopper, which then goes into the chest, and that's where it can get stored, and I can take it out when I need it. For now, we're just going to be storing most of it, but eventually I'm going to need it to make paper for books, for bookshelves, for the enchantment room. And then we'll also be using it later on for trading with villagers as well. So we're going to finish up this and add the last few blocks in, finish the glass off. The one thing I am a little worried about is lighting, which I think for now, I may just place torches above. There goes my pickaxe again. Go make another one real quick. I may place torches above just to make sure that it is nice and lit up in there. Because I'm a little worried that the showcase might not grow if it's not lit up correctly. I don't know if sugarcane needs light to grow. I know uh, normal crops like wheat, um, carrots and that, they do. But I'm not sure about sugarcane. Yeah, we'll have, uh, we'll have torches placed sort of like that. Try and make sure that it's uh, it's lit up in there for now. Go ahead and mine all this out so I can put a roof in as well. And yeah, so for torches, we'll just place place one there for now. And place one here. It's only temporary, but I do want it to kind of look a bit nice. Uh, it's two over, so the third one, this one. Uh, there is no blocks behind that. Good place, son. Let's do that for now. And there we go. Yeah, we will amend this at a later date with some glowstone we'll put along the bottom and that way that'll make that look a little bit more nicer and we'll also provide a light. Okay, so the glass should be done now. Yes, it is. And we'll go ahead and place this in here. There we go. So 
that way we can we can view inside of it and we can see whether it's been grown or not and then I can come over, I can push the button, sugarcane pops off, goes in the water stream, ends up in the chest. I do need to be able to get in there real quick for now to be able to plant more sugarcane. So for now we'll just go ahead and do this. And yeah. That is uh that is pretty much it for the the, the, the sugarcane build. I do want to make all this look nicer. I want to add the floor in, probably a ceiling as well, make it all stone like we have done with the rest of the base. And we'll also be doing something else on the other side of it as well. That'll be it for a later episode though. Now we'll go ahead and place the, the flooring in. Now I'm just going to place torches along the floor. Eventually we may have lighting in the ceiling along here. Once again, when I get glowstone, I can put some of that in. That'll be some nice hidden lighting kind of thing. But yeah, the, the floor is just continuing the style that we've been doing over here, which is the, the deep lake tiles. One last thing is I'd like to put a trap door in just there, which do I have space? Spruce. I don't have any spruce trees. I'd like to get some spruce trees at some point because I very much do like the spruce tree trap doors. But for now we'll just use an oak one. Place it there. That way we can access the chest but not fall in the hole when we walk over it. Very nice. And for now, this is going to be a manual sugarcane farm, so I have to manually press the button for the piston to activate. But at a later date, when I go to the nether and I can get quartz, I can get observer blocks, which if I just place an observer block above the pistons, whenever the sugarcane grows three high, it will send a redstone signal behind and will activate the piston, all of the pistons. So... We'll, that will make that then fully automated pretty much so we'll be doing that at a later date though for now this is a way that we can do it with the resources that we have so yeah place another one in there and last thing i want to do is make the ceiling look a little nicer I'm going to need stone for, so let's put some stone on to smelt real quick. We are starting to run out of coal as well, which is going to become a bit of an issue. We can always smelt down wood to make charcoal. But for that, we're going to need possibly a tree farm. As I don't really want to deforest the whole area because then that's going to make the whole area look not very nice. And since we have now built this, we've gotten rid of the entrance to the mine area and also to where the two spawners are the spider one which is over there and the skeleton one which is just over there for now i can probably access this way by just creating this that way i can just access this if need be as for the skeleton one i could create a little bridge tunnel above and over i guess which i'll probably do that for now. Go and grab the stone. There's not much of it. Do I have any more anywhere? There's some. Guess that's all.
If I do create a bridge up and above, it will be... I need to bridge across this possibly because I don't want to have to jump every single time. I want to get across. Um, it should be alright. Once I place the stone in, I should just be able to walk over this. Uh, that is blocking the torch off, so... Can I create, real quick, I'm going to do some, um, we're going to use, can we make diorite slabs? You can. I'm going to use polished diorite for now. The slabs of it to tr make a bridge. Do some more. Uh, I can't get rid of that block because that's where the torch is. I could knock this out a little bit more, just make it a little bit wider. Okay, that's, that, that'll do for now. And yeah, once the stone's in, that should be okay. Put some torches here, make sure this is lit up. Oh. There we go. So now, yes, I can just, I can walk down here in order to get over to here, which is where the spider farm will be. Yeah, there is a cave very close by that I keep hearing a lot of mobs at, so I might want to go ahead and try and find that, because they're starting to get a little bit annoying. I think they're above me here, but they're also this way as well, because when I was placing this, I could hear them over that way. There's more sugarcane, so if we go ahead and harvest it. That's nice. We just need two more to finish it off. Now, another thing with this as well is when I do push them off, they won't always fall into the water. Some of them will end up landing on the sugarcane itself, on the dirt block, and we won't be able to collect that. It's a very low chance of that happening, but it is still a chance. So this isn't a 100% guarantee return kind of thing, um, but it, it's good enough for what I need for now. I kind of don't like the torches on the floor here. I'm going to put them on the wall on the left. It's a bit better. I'm also thinking I may install Optifine so that way I can have the, the clear glass effect. So that way we don't we don't see all the, the, the connections between the glass and stuff. I may do that for, for next time. And in fact, I may do it before I grab the thumbnail as well. Okay, the last bit of stone should be done. There we go. That is pretty much it finished. I just need to wait for two more sugarcane to grow. Okay, and that is our last two sugarcane that we need. I need to get the last bricks real quick. I've just gone ahead and sorted all my inventory out and cleared it all out and put it all away. Okay, so that is pretty much the end of today's episode. I do thank you guys for being here. We are going to go ahead and block that up real quick. 
I know that it's that block that I need to mine to be able to access behind there and to get into the mines again, so that's fine. I may place a door there, actually. I'm going to go ahead and place a door, because... I'm going to be going through there a lot. I don't want to have to keep breaking the, the blocks every time I want to go through there. So yeah, I'll do for now. Okay, so that is pretty much going to be it for today's episode. I do thank all of you for being here and watching this. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.